Hello again, this is Robert Veach here, and this is my video review of the Zuzi, that's Z-O-O-Z-E-E. -E. This is their Z50, a robotic vacuum cleaner. Now this provides 3,000 pascals of usable suction. A pascal is a unit of measure that lets you know how much vacuum pressure it has. You can see the unit includes the remote control right there if you don't want to use the app and it includes four brush brush units and two the robot uses so two of these are a spare and that is the vacuum chamber that holds the debris we're going to talk about the specs of that behind that is the mopping uh, canister and it includes an extra fiber head right there and in the back there is the charging port that goes on your floor and there's the included AC adapter we're going to show all those close up and on the right there there's an extra HEPA foam filter included so in that packet there is warranty card information from the company with all kinds of contact information this does have a one-year warranty and they have some nice quick guides to help you set the robot up really quickly and then the Z50 manuals included right here to help you out I'll go over some of the specs about this so this is easy to clean it's multifunctional it does vacuuming and mopping it's equipped with electronically controlled 400 milliliter which is 13.5 ounces of the water tank and that's that tank that I just mentioned right over there and then the dust collection is 600 milliliter that's that one right there and that's 20.28 ounces so that's what it will hold that's what you're going to be emptying and of course that HEPA filter there's an extra one that I mentioned to the right right there we're going to show you how that is installed it uses a very high quality long battery life uh, 5200 milliamp LG battery and that'll uh, provide up to 290 minutes of cleaning time and it'll clean up the 3667 square feet and that's pretty large area that's uh, bigger than most homes that you have now you can use this to be controlled by the remote or you can control it with the app that they recommend it's up to you now this is an advanced robot it has 26 advanced sensors which can identify any, any type of obstacle and it has cliff detection function so that it won't go off stairs so one of the reasons you want to buy this unit there's a lot of robotic vacuum cleaners out there, there's a lot of name brand ones is that this uses a high quality LG 5200 milliamp hour lithium battery and it uses a processor called the ARM Cortex that's A-35 and that's a pretty advanced processor that some of the name brand units use it and all the motor drives are all NIDEC precision motor drives and that's another name brand of component so they're all top of the line components and you know that's that shows that they're putting the money where it counts into the electronics and the motor drive and they don't really talk too much about this and there is this included roll and this 3m tape you open this up and there is a flat portion to it this is what you're going to put down if you have an area they absolutely don't want the robot to go so if you put this under the edge of your carpet let's say you had hardwood floor to real thick carpet you can put this there and the robot won't go there you can put this on the edge of a stair also but it has detection for that this is 3.3 feet or a meter and you can contact the company if you need more of this they will glad you provide you with more lengths if you need this this little brush is included and it has a little cutting blade on there with a safety part and this allows you to cut some of the hairs your pet hair and stuff off the roller inside there when you first get the robot you want to remove these little protective side pieces of foam and they are there just to protect the robot in shipping now the way the robot works it has these spinning uh, brushes and that's how it gets into corners we're first going to install those and you also notice it has a suspension system on its drive and that's so that this could go over irregular parts of your floor and still keep the robot balanced 
So this is the one the part right here that's doing most of the cleaning. This rotates and throws the dirt into the dust compartment or into the mopping compartment. So these ones rotate, they throw the pieces towards this where it gets vacuumed up and thrown into the, the compartment right there. So you just need a standard Phillips screwdriver and a small one works fine. It on there like that, it drops down in place. And then you put the screw back on there. Sometimes it helps if you have a magnetized Phillips head like that. And then you turn it clockwise and you lock it in place. Don't over tighten it and that's that side. And do that for the other side over there also. So here's the dust collection canister. And uh, you see it has a little plastic piece right there that keeps dust in. And it has a part right here that you can open up. And there is where the little filter goes. And it has a little pre-filter. And this just drops there like that. Make sure you set this in and it drops totally down so that you don't damage it when you close it. And then this piece itself has this little part right here that allows you to put this in and have it latch properly so it goes only one way and then it clicks in place and that stays right in there. Now if you want to remove it you take this little handle here you push up allows you to remove it. That's how you get the dust collection to work. Now on the unit itself the robot there is a label in the front that has to be removed and this labels where all those sensors are when it's driving going forward. So here's the included mopping canister and here's the side that's going to go along the floor and that has the fiber material mop and it's flat so it just essentially slides along your hardwood floor. You'll want to use this on your carpeting just if you're a hardwood floor. And it has a cover right there, a valve to prevent things from falling forward like water and dust. And on this side right here it has a rubber part that you open up and there's where you put your water and this lifts up right here so this is removable you push right here and you lift up and there's a hinge right there and this is where it has the filtration for the water and the dirt and that's replaceable also then you just close it back down and this goes over this just like that and clicks in place very simple and then when you're this is all set with water then you just take it it only goes one way and it clicks right in the unit just like that then you use this button again to push that allows you to remove it I just want to mention that all the filters that I showed they're all cleanable you can wash all these filters and reuse them just air dry them and if you use a hair dryer just make sure you put it on the lowest setting of heat. Now included is the base which is going to do the charging and a 24 volt 1 amp AC DC adapter. This is what's going to power the robot and charge it and this is where the contacts are that go to the bottom of the robot. If you look at the bottom of the robot you can see the front where its face is See those two contacts right there? That's what's going to mate up with those contacts. Now you have to make sure that you remove this film before you use this because that's where the sensors are that help the robot essentially park. Now on the bottom of this unit, there's rubber non-slip pads, which is nice. Then you open this up like that. And then there is where your connector goes. And you put this in there just like that, push it all the way in. And then you could exit the cable on either side, depending on what is more convenient for your setup. Then once you do that, you put this cover back on, and then it's a nice flat connection ready for use. Now the remote control in, has included batteries. Just install the batteries as you would expect. These are triple A's. Put the negative on the spring, positive on the center. I always like to rotate it in case there's any oxidation in there. 
and slide the cover back on and you should be all ready to use the remote. On the quick guide sheet, there is the app called Tuya Smart and you could scan this or you can go to the uh, App Store or the Google Play Store and get it also. And you have to make sure that your uh, smartphone's tablet is connected to 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. That's the only network it supports. And your tablet is connected to the same Wi-Fi network. And you're running at least iOS 10.0 or Android 4.4 or above. And the Wi-Fi status light on the robot will rapidly flash when it is uh, trying to connect. And make sure that you're charging base so there's enough power during the setup. I'm going to be trying the remote on this robot instead of this app. Also on the back it does have information how to get this app to work. Now for demonstration purposes I'm going to see if I can get this to have it go and charge itself into the base which is on my granite counter here and I have that charging base powered on. You can see the green LED right there. Now let's just give this a try. I'm going to hold the power button right here. Power on. Now on the remote, there is a home button. Let's see what happens if I hit that. Start recharge. So the manual does mention. Recharging. So there, so it found itself. So the manual mentions that you should have about six feet behind the base and three feet in the left, three feet in the right. Because that's part of the algorithm that it did. It went to the left and then it searched and found the charge. So now we're going to let this charge and uh, it's going to be breathing. Now while this is charging, I'm going to go over some of the other information. The manual does talk about using the unit itself to control it or the remote or the app. We're going to concentrate on using the remote and also notice that on the robot, there is a home button right there. So we could have pushed that and it would have done the same thing. You could also use that, according to the manual, to start uh, cleaning by holding that button down. If you hold both the buttons down on there, it does a Wi-Fi reset. So the auto mode is going to do a back and forth pattern. That's the most common. Then the other mode is edge cleaning, there's a button right there. And then there's local cleaning, which is going to do a small area right there. And I'm pretty sure this button will do all of those, and this will be the edge cleaning. This button right here is defined as partial cleaning and also a pause. You can adjust the amount of water right there if you're using the water tank. This is the amount of suction power, you can increase or decrease it. You could turn the robot's voice on and off right there. That is an okay button. Then you could also hit the call button and I'm here. You can hear the robot respond I'm here. telling you where it's at. Then you have left and right buttons which allow you to navigate it if you're having some issues. You want to manually move it around. So after about two and a half hours, it fully charged and it went to solid white. So now we have it in place in my kitchen on the hardwood floor and I have it centered so there's about a meter on each side or three feet and we're gonna tell it to go to the home start recharge recharging okay now we're gonna try this in we're gonna hit auto Let's just let's see what it does. And let's we'll get to start. So you can see it navigated around that chair. So now it's trying to do a stitching pattern in the room. And it's gonna hit that chair again and work its way around it. And it did that whole corner over there already. Now it's going back towards the kitchen, trying to form a line. See it's an obstacle, goes 90 degrees to it, and it comes right back into the dining room area. 
I can't get over how quiet this is. Look how I navigated that little tight space right there. And now it's going under the chair. That's so cool. I'm like a kid in a candy store with this. This is so neat. So I let it alone for a while and came back in the kitchen and I got into my laundry room. And it's cleaning the laundry room floor quite nicely. Now it's in another section. It's doing under that little table right there. I also have the ability to control it with the controller. So I hit the pause. And you can see you could change the position of it. Just like that. Then hit it again. Start. It'll just start over again. And, or actually it'll continue where it was. Where it was doing. So let's see if it could find its way back to the charging station, which is all the way there and to the left in my kitchen. So after about only three minutes, it worked its way back into the kitchen and it's trying to find the charging base. Now it worked its way and there it goes. It found it. Wow, that's impressive. It took, I timed it. It took six, actually five and a quarter minutes from all the way to the other side of my house and it found it. Okay, let's see what it collected in that time. And keep in mind, I vacuumed my house just the other day, one day ago. So I didn't expect it to have much on here. It's been removed. Let's take a look. Wow. I guess my house wasn't as clean as I thought. <laughs> I mean, look at that. That's, that's, it's got long hair in there. It's got pieces of food, pieces of drywall. That's pretty impressive. And here's the great thing. You just rinse everything out. It's all waterproof. And you just let these things air dry and now you're ready for them to be used tomorrow if you want to vacuum again. <clears throat> and you just wipe the unit down with a slightly dampened cloth. And then you can remove this piece right here, rinse that off. And then the roller itself comes right out. And you can clean that with water also. And wipe this out right here. And you're all set. Just like that. Okay, let's let this thing rest a little bit. This is, was going for over an hour. Did my whole first floor. It's pretty impressive. So, what do I think about the Zozi, the Z-O-O-Z-E-E -E brand, their Z50 Robot Vacuum Cleaner? I like this. This is impressive. Uh, the algorithm they use worked really well, as you saw. Clean my floor. is really set it and forget it. I'm always following it around just to record the video, but I could have easily have just left it alone. And again, I just use the remote. If you download the app and go that direction, there's a lot more functionality. So this is a very cool high-tech product. I'm going to give it a full five-star rating. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you alert the new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I presented helps you with your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.